Cookie Swirl. See? <laughs> Time for Disney Dreamlight Valley. Ah, I'm still in my robot disguise. Need to gather a robot fish? Time to do some fishing for a robot fish. I got one. Robot fish, is that you? That does not look like a robot fish. Oh, it's a soul. All right, now I got a fish for another one. Come on, sea snail. I see you in there. Is this you? Got one. See if I can catch myself a robot fish. Nikki's watching. I want to get this right. Perfect first try. Look at it. I bet Ursula wants that. Or she wants it. Let's go into the Monster Zinc realm. Enter. Well, hello. Cookie, behind this door lies another room of many doors. A place where the power of laughter changed everything. Quite miraculous. We're going in. Escape claws. There they are. <laughs> Ooh, can I get a snack too? Wait, sugar, salt, bag of calories. What's blort? Never mind on the snacks. Hello, is anyone here? My name's Cookie. Hello? Do not enter. Should I enter? Door out of order. Let's see the note. Wazowski. Paperwork. I'm not asking again. You are scanned. A red light flashes. Access denied. Monster not identified. Employees only beyond this point. Search for something to disguise yourself as a monster. That's what I have to do. Well, what can I use? What can I use? There's storage. There's a bag. Let me just go ahead and throw some things down. Inventory is always full. Hopefully they won't mind that I planted a bunch of plants here. Lost and found monster wear. What sort of items get lost in the monster's ink? Lost and found. What is it? Gonna be like a monster suit? But it's that, I've got little little bat ears. Okay, monster ears. Monster's ink hard hat. Which one should I go with? These? These? Definitely the hard hat. Okay, we're ready. I look like I fit in, right? Some scan me. What? Access denied? Monster not identified. Now what do I do? Take a selfie only once you're happy with your new monstrous disguise. Oh, I got a green mic bag. I gotta bring that. I think this is pretty good. I'm ready. Picture. That's a good one. Okay, scan me now. Especially scan the backpack. Because that really is a monster. It opened. It opened. <gasps> there they are right there. Uh, hi. It's me, your fellow monster friend. Let's talk to Mike first. Mike, what do you think about my backpack? Do you like it, Mike? Hey there. Looking good today. Hey there. Hey there, you must be the intern we've been waiting for. Uh. You picked a strange day to show up, though, because uh, nobody else did. We have no idea where everybody is. Aww. And we're in a real tight jam. Ooh, strawberry jam. Monstropolis needs power, but this is not a two monster operation. How about a three monster operation? So unprofessional, what kind of company is this? We'll go with the first option. Me. Well, usually it takes dozens of monsters to keep this place running. Did I mention that I'm glad you're here? Yes, they think I'm one of their monster friends. Mm -hmm. Look at it this way. You're gonna need some hands-on experience on a laugh floor your very first day. What? You know, I don't mean to be rude, but uh, you're a little human shaped. Uh, no, no, I'm not. No, I, I fit in with you guys. See, look at my backpack. See my ears? See my amazingly green glasses? I'm one of you. You're always looking at me. I've never seen a monster like you before, but you've seen a monster like this. I retract my extra arms before work. Human shaped, ha, uh -huh, I get that all the time. Inappropriate, I'm calling monster resources. I'm gonna tell him uh, the second one. Because if I have retractable arms, he'd want to see them. I was laughing. Do you? That's uh, a relief. It's it's just yeah. that it's company policy. No humans on the laugh floor. If human adults knew about this, it'd be, sh I don't even I think about it. Well, welcome to the company. Thank you. I'm James P. Sullivan, CEO, but please call me Sully. And over there, that's Mike Wazowski. I'm Cookie. I'm definitely a monster, not a human. <laughs> Right, okay, great. Although it's kind of weird you felt the need to reiterate that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, monster not human or VTuber. Why don't we get you started while Mike and I figure out how to run this place with just three monsters. We've had our Laugh Power launch party a couple days ago and this laugh floor needs a little work. <clears throat> yeah, what is all that? I don't know. Something has to do with monsters. We already swept up all the confetti and took down the decorations. Could you clean up the rest of the party trash and rinse away the slug slime on the floor? Ew! Why were there slugs in here? Yeah, slug slime? You bet those slugs know how to dance, but whew, it really leaves a trail. I wonder what he thinks about the sea snail that I have in my inventory. Uh -oh. See, I have it in my backpack. Sea snail. Oh, but I gotta save that for Jafar. That's what Jafar wants. The snail leaves a tiny trail of stars behind as it crawls. It looks just like the Milky Way. Yeah, it looks nothing like this. This really does look like green toxic slime. I'm sure there's something around here that can help you rinse away the slime. Don't worry. I've got my own tools. Yay. We'll handle this. Take we got it, it, we got it, we got it. <gasps> They're talking. Looks like Cookie has some good hustle. Lucky for us, it's intern orientation day. Remind me of us when we were starting out. So full of promise. Dot, 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 <laughs> and coffee. <laughs> All right, let's get started on this. What happens if I try to add water to it? Ew! It fizzied away. Add a little bit of water to the slime. Just like that, it's gone in no time. Remove that. 
Just stomp on it. Get it out of here. It's better than putting it in my already full inventory. Stomp on this and this. They made such a monster mess. Water the slime. Oh, this is where they have extra hard hats. A chest. Oh, maybe there's something in here I can use. I can dress up as. Makes me a little bit more monstery. Ooh, a Monsters Inc. computer. I can watch YouTube videos from home on my work computer for Monsters Inc. Stomp that out. Sprinkle a little magical water. Ooh, what is this? Key card. It looks like it was bitten into. Why is it shaped like that? This calls for a door to the human world and will let any jokester do their work. This is such a good movie. I haven't watched Monsters Inc. in so long, you guys. I need to go back and watch it. There's one more party trash somewhere. Found it. Stomp. Okay, looks pretty good around here. I think these monsters are gonna be pretty pleased. All right, I cleaned. All right, all clean. The place looks great. Nice work. <laughs> so much slime. What's my next intern duty? Well, I did have something in mind. Next up, would you mind fixing a coffee for... That's it? Just a coffee for both of you? Yeah. Normally I'd grab it myself, but we're almost done with the plan to get this place up and running. Huh. Now we're talking real intern stuff. What do Monster Inc. employees like in their coffee? Yeah, what do monsters like in their coffee? In my experience, no two coffee orders are alike. I delivered my share of coffee around this place back in the day. Anyway, it's not a good idea to approach Mike until he's had his morning brew. And I think the extra caffeine boost will help us finish the plan. Okay, what can I get you? I like my coffee extra strong. <gasps> so he's gonna grab me. It takes about five times the amount of a regular coffee to get it as bitter as I like it. Okay, so extra strong. Mm -hmm. Mike takes his with a little non-dairy screamer, not creamer, screamer, and as much sugar as you can add. He calls it the Wazowski special. <laughs> and hey, I think a delivery of supplies just arrived. <gasps> Where? Bring the coffee to Mike. He needs his more urgently than I do. You got I'm it. Chill, Mike. Cecilia bought me the greatest socks the other day. I'm telling you, my feet have been freezing cold since the Himalayas. Look at his face, he's so angry. Cool down, Mike. Have some water. Yep, she's the best. Of course, I can only wear them at home. The team would never let me hear the end of it if I came to work with something on my feet. Hopefully they're like fun printed socks too, you know? With like either cookies on them or cute little dog faces, candy bars, or monsters. All right, here we are at the coffee station. All right, what do we have? Coffee beans? Hmm, wait a minute. Soli did say he likes his five times stronger. He likes it as bitter as he can. So let's just see how many we can get. Let's just get as many as we can. We're gonna make it extra bitter. On dairy screamer, one of those. And a lot of sugar. So again, we're just, we're just really gonna pile it in there. Extra sweet day today and extra bitter. So first coffee, load it with coffee. There it is, plenty of coffee in there. Now for Mike's, can't forget about the screamer. It says, when you open this container, it emits a little. <gasps> the coffee beans add a full body chocolate flavor and a hint of hazelnut. Okay, my inventory's full. I had to pull out this fish. Out with the fish and in with the coffee. One bean, one creamer, load it with sugar. Yum, we got his coffee. Hopefully they like it. Mike, I got you a coffee. Go ahead and take this one. What do you think? Oh, he's so happy for it. <laughs> he's jumping up and down. Just who I wanted to see. You are a lifesaver. I can't do top-notch <laughs> jokester work without my coffee. Or my vocal oh. warm-ups. Which is what I was doing, by the way. Not just talking to myself. <laughs> he's so happy. I've had a delicious Wazowski special. Now the day can really begin. Prepare to observe the best jokester in the biz. And what does a jokester do exactly? Ah. Jokesters, my Ooh. friend, are the backbone Ooh. of Monsters, Inc. We make kids laugh, which creates laugh energy, which powers everything. See, there was a time when everything was scream powered and this place was ruled by scarers, but no more. Now it's my time to shine all the time. Are you ready to see the greatest jokester of all time go to work? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, he's powered up. Let's see it. Since it's the first day of the internship, Ooh. you are in for a real treat. Mike Wazowski is about to perform. Mm. Yes. You know how Soli said we were coming up with a plan? Yes. Well, the plan is me working my green behind off to keep this place going. Well, get it going. Uh. Time to make him laugh. Okay, don't scare anybody. Uh. Let's see him work. Oh, was that supposed to happen? Oh no! Uh, we have a little bit of a problem here. I don't think it worked. Okay, stay calm. It's only a small emergency. Uh -huh. The door powered down and Mike's stuck in the human world. Oh, oh no. Don't panic, what do we do? Is it time to freak out now? The way he was talking, it seems like he can handle it. I think he can handle it, except for he doesn't have his socks. What can I say? Mike's a genius jokester and he's not shy about it, but this has nothing to do with collecting laughs. We have to get him out of there. Since this is an emergency, we need the emergency manual. Mift usually keeps a copy of the emergency manual somewhere on each laugh floor. You need to find it. Why do you think Mike's in danger? The longer Mike's behind that door, the higher the chance he'll be discovered. Which could mean humans finding out about the monster world, which could then lead to a catastrophe. He'll be the next Sasquatch or Nessie or Abominable Snowman. Focus on getting him out of there. Oh, and Mift is the Monsters Incorporated facilities team. Uh, I know that, right? Because, uh, you know, I'm a monster just like you, Sully. If it breaks, they fix it, but they're not here. So we need the manual to help us. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Great, I'm gonna check on the electrical panel and see if I can get it working. Remember, 
You're looking for the emergency manual. Okay. See you around. There he goes. All right, I'll find it. I'll find it somewhere. I'll find it. I'll just look everywhere. I'll look at everyone's desk. Hey, I think I found it. This is it. I got it. I got the manual. Okay, he has it. Hey there. It says that the red light means a couple of fuses have blown and need to be replaced. All we have to do is replace the fuses and check the power lines. But I'm an intern, not a mechanic. Nah, we can figure this out. Don't worry. This manual is really detailed. I'll keep reading in case that there's anything else we need to know. Could you search the last floor for some new fuses and place them in the electrical panel? When the power's on again, check the power lines to make sure it's all flowing properly. That should fix the door and get my phone. Uh-huh. Seems so simple. I'm really glad you're here, Cookie. I definitely could change these dainty parts with these huge paws. All right, find them. Find the replacement fuses. Found one. Got it. All right, let's see if this works. Transfer over. Okay, it's yellow. Let's follow the cable. Plug that in. Can't just leave these sparking. <gasps> there we go. Move that out of the way. Plug in. Now it's green. Here's one. Power that on. Hey, who unplugged this? Keep that plugged in. Same thing with this one. It's green. Who has it? I know it's on someone's desk. Someone probably wanted to take it home from work. Ah, you have it. They just jammed that manual in there. We plug in. We're good. Mike can come home now. (laughs) Good to see you, kid. You, you got me out. You saved me. How'd you enjoy your time in the human world? Was it scary in there? Not even a little. When I couldn't open the door to the monster world, I knew Soli and you were hard at work trying to get me out. You believed in us. I said to myself, Mike, stay calm. And then I used the opportunity to try out some new stand-up material. You got me out just in time. Oh, do I want him to tell me a joke? After all you did for me? Of course. Why don't slug monsters enter races? Dot, dot, dot. Because they never win. They only ooze. Ooh. I mean, he should work on his material. Not an easy laugh. I'll think about that one a little more. Yeah, good idea. You know what? I'm sweating up a monsoon here. I need some time to center myself before I get back to work. Go check in with Sully. Is this his desk? He's got a rubber chicken. Oh, I can bump into Sully. I never knew I was strong enough to push a monster around. <laughs> Let's get this show on the road. Thanks for all your help rescuing Mike. Things got a little hairy there. It sure took it out of me. After everything required to get the factory switched over to laugh power, and now this, I could use a vacation. Oh, <gasps> so you gonna go visit? Where do I live? Come back to Disney Dreamlight Valley with me. Wait, am I gonna tell him that I'm a human and I'm not a monster? Why would I do that? I can just flat out say I'm not a monster. Uh, how about Sully? I need to tell you something. No! Why would I say that? I'm a human in disguise? Uh, uh. I'm sorry, what? Uh, can't I say something else? Oh, I didn't want to trick you. It was the only way onto the laugh floor. I was worried you'd get upset. I'm just a humany human. <laughs> I guess I am. <laughs> well, you sure had me fooled. Oh, he's not mad. Good, I'm not gonna die. Mm. So, uh, why are you here? To invite you to Disney Dreamlight Valley. Disney Dreamlight Valley, never heard of it. It would be a great vacation spot for you. See, told you. You have to love a place where locals are friendly. Hmm. Hearing Disney Dreamlight Valley does give me a familiar, warm feeling. Maybe he's been there before. Sold on the idea. I really need a break, but I can't go without Mike. Mm. If you can convince him to join me, we'll come visit the valley. Should be an easy pitch. You did rescue him after all. Aw. You know what? All right, let's go talk to him. Something special. Mike, how would you like to come live with me and Sully in Disney Dreamlight Valley? And you can take your rubber chicken with you. Don't say a word. I heard everything you said to Sully. You're a human. Is he mad? I uh, gotta admit, I freaked out a little bit at first, but now that I have had some time to think about it and discuss it with the rubber chicken. You're a human with an opportunity for a vacation to someplace called Disney Dreamlight Valley. And oh boy, do I need a vacation. There's just one problem. I can't leave yet. You know, I already set the all-time laugh record. Okay, so what's the problem? (sighs) If I take a vacation, some other monster could break my record while I'm on the beach pretending to read a book, but really asleep. I can't let that happen. I gotta set a jokester record nobody could ever beat. You understand, right? Yeah. How will we know when it's high enough? (laughs) His laugh. (laughs) Good question that I do not have an answer for. Oh, yeah, I'm being promoted. From intern to jokester assistant. First order of business, we need doors, which means we need key cards. I'll be running the place soon. (laughs) He's laughing again. Currently, all the key cards are at reception. Just one problem. We don't have receptionists today, and that door is jammed up, so you might have to find something to jimmy it. All right, we'll jimmy the jammed door. (laughs) I mean, too bad Sully couldn't just do it, right? He's got those giant monster hands. I feel like he can just, like, rip anything open, like if the door was jammed, just like this is. Is this the door here? Door is still out of order. Ooh, tool chest. Okay, we can find that. Oh, he's telling me he couldn't be prouder of him. He called him a sentimental throw rug. Found it. Got the tools. Open the door. Got it open. More vending machine. It's cracked. Some monster tried to tear into it. They really wanted one of those monster sodas. Ooh, a chest. What did I find? Monster mug rack. Aw. For all my Wazowski specials. There's Sully. Every picture is of him. Oh, found the key cards. Come on, let's get to those doors. There they are. Are 
Is this the right one? We got doors. Let me have a look at the files that come with those key cards. You know, the files with information on how to make the kid behind each one of these doors laugh, there were no files with these key cards. Oh, he's mad. Don't be mad at me. I didn't do it. No files, no laughs, no breaking records. Soli's vacation will be ruined. He didn't want to go without him though. Can't use that as an option. There has to be some way. Maybe, maybe we could. Oh, I don't know. This isn't my department. I tell jokes. I don't do research. Why don't I make new files? <sighs> new files? Okay. How? Sneak into the rooms while they're still empty. See if you could find clues about what would make each one laugh. <laughs> Is that going to work? <laughs> I knew you'd be a great jokester assistant. All right. I'll search for clues in each of the rooms. I get to go oh, through yes. the doors. All right. We're going. Okay. If I get stuck in there, please let me out. Come save me. All right. Okay. We're in a room. No one's here. What is that? A little egg thing. Oh! <gasps> Simba. Ladybug. All right, are there any clues in here? It's like the circus kid. Elephant. Clowns. What else do we have? Look, they like circus balloons. Look at this ball. What's behind here? What is this? Ringmaster's hat and a wand. Definitely circus kid. Just who I wanted to see. Here, I found these drawings. Kid really likes the circus. Mm. Circus fan, huh? Oh. Go to F3. Going in. Okay, coast is clear. We're good. What do we have here? Hmm, space fan. Are we gonna find a Buzz Lightyear in here, perhaps? Oh, they like airplanes. That poster. Is there nothing to investigate? <gasps> Did it glitch? Should I go back? I'll go back. Couldn't find anything. Mike, I couldn't find anything. Hey there! Let me go back in. Oh, take photos of clues in the room. All right, take pictures, I guess, of this poster. Kind of in the way. Picture of this framed photo. This is the space kid. Hmm, that didn't count. Maybe the bookshelf? That worked. Let's just take a picture of the whole room. You know, Mike will find something. Oh, that didn't work. Picture of the nightstand? There's not much more to take a picture of. The rug? Dirty laundry? Okay, I took a picture of everything in the room while I was snacking, so I don't know what it was. We're going back. Let's have a look at these photos. Hmm. Space. Oh, yes! I got it. I'll make this one laugh with some knock-knock jokes out of this world. <laughs> Last room. Uh, Bring me a clue from the room. I had to take something. I know it said he'll put it back, but still. Let's see what we got. Ew! This room is filthy. Look at the pile of dirty laundry. At least in that last room, the laundry was all folded and nice in the laundry basket. This is the stinky kid. Oh, they're watching Woody's Roundup. This room is a mess. There's enough clothes on the floor here for a bulldozer or a shovel. Clean it up, please. Mom, hugs, kisses, hugs, kisses. Should I shovel the clothing? Ew! Why am I cleaning the room? I don't want to clean the room. Look, it kicks around the socks. You can hear the flies buzzing. Can I bring back this Olaf snow globe? Yeah, there's a plate. Yeah, there's another one of those egg things. Ew, keep stomping the socks. I don't know why I'm doing the cleaning. I should definitely not have to do this. What was that? Ew! Mike's gonna... <laughs> Mike's gonna love that, I think. Soli's probably gonna like it too. Ew, here. That room smelled. I don't wanna go back in there. Give him the whoopee cushion. What do you think? A whoopee cushion, huh? I knew it. Look at him. He's so happy. I know exactly how to make this kid laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, a connoisseur of gassy jokes of all kinds. <laughs> I'm gonna burp the biggest burp in the history of burps. That'll definitely help me smash my last record to the smithereens. Wow, that's gross. I guess it's for the record though. <laughs> that's what he wanted. He's gonna do it. Ew, this burp needs bass. Bring me one can of soda from each of the three vending machines around reception. They'll add a little something extra to this burp. <laughs> You guys, this is so gross. Oh, I only got two tokens, but there are three machines. Improvise, get one soda from each machine. Improvise, <gasps> one of the machines was broken. I can probably stick my human hand into the smashed, right? Because the monster smashed it with his hand. Let's see, can I do it? It's blort out of service, but it does have a green soda. I need the green soda. Okay, I can open this one. This one is rumbling inside the can. Ew, it's already rumbling. Mike hasn't even drank it yet. What are these? Oh, popsicle, a small frozen treat shaped like a fox paw. I'll definitely take one of those. Eh, we'll just take them all. Pass them out to my friends in Disney Dreamlight Valley. Blue soda. What is this blue light switch? Oh, there we go. Huh. That was easy. Oh, take the soda. The soda seems to shiver and shake all on its own. Maybe careful opening it. It's gonna explode in Mike's face. What's this? Sweet slush. Blue, fresh, and perfect for a hot day. More gifts. Now, what to do about this machine? What is this machine for? All right, there's nothing around it. Should I hit it with my shovel? My pickaxe? Oh, I can. 
Now I can open it. I mean, it was already cracked open. Got the soda. This can boasts more ooze, zero flavor. Let me dump some things because I'm out of room. We'll put yam seeds into the vending machine. Take the popsicles. Lemon sorbet, a light frozen dessert with a citrusy kick. We'll put celery seeds in the vending machine. We're gonna definitely take the sour snow cones. Ice shaving soaked in a delicious fruit syrup. Yum. Give them all the sodas. Okay, here we go. Stand back. I can't stand back. I can't go back. I'm scared. Okay, here we go. We're about to make history. Yes, 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 yes. Bottoms up. Watch the monster at work. Here we go. Okay, we don't get to see it. He's going in the room. Oh yeah, they loved it. They definitely laughed. They should have had a, like an echoing burp sound so we could all kind of hear like the aftermath of it. <laughs> oh, look how happy he is. Ew! We could hear it! Okay, he definitely broke his record. Multi-dimensional burp. We did it, look at that. Beat it by miles, by kilometers, by whales, by monsters. Disney Dreamlight Valley, here we come. Yes, they're gonna come live with me. Oh, there's one last thing we gotta take care of. In the meantime, maybe you could check on our hotel room. House, beachside bungalow, we're not picky. Just be sure it's someplace nice. Okay, I'll go build at my house. You're making sure Sully and I have a place to stay when we visit the valley, right? Yep, on my way right now. <gasps> they're coming to live at Disney Dreamlight Valley. I have room for the fish. Just pick them back up. Take those back. Got that one. Come on, pick up. You're gonna come live with us too. Maybe I'll put you in Sully's house. I can't get my fingers under the flat fish. I can't grab it. I'm gonna have to leave it here? Oh, it's really gonna stink up the workplace. No one's ever gonna be able to pick it up. Well, actually, maybe one of the other monsters can because they might have like a really long nail. We'll just leave it for them. Look, they're all coming over here. Hey, you guys, I've got snow cones and delicious fish and things for you. Did you know you're practically everyone's hero here? Aww. But before I can pass out gifts, where are they gonna live? Is this an egg bush? I can harvest the eggs? Minnie, oh, I saw her. You guys, we need to bring her here. Look at Mickey has no idea. She was just right there like a phantom version. There is an Easter egg. Pick these up. They must have had an Easter event. Should we put them right here next to Scrooge? Oh, Scrooge would be so mad. He would be hearing Mike's burps all the time, especially whenever he's trying to sell things. I don't know if Casita wants to hear the burps either. I'm kind of put them far away. Ooh, look at their house. It's a nice apartment. Place it right here. Oh, greetings, neighbor. Okay, monsters are coming back, but good friends to us all. Hi. <laughs> Let's get him here. Oh, Scrooge, I saw you hiding that money under your hat. Oh no, we're in the rock. We can barely see the apartment being built. It like glitched. Here they come. All right, Sully made it. Welcome, welcome. Take a picture. Oh, that's a good one. Say, monster bit my finger. This place is pretty amazing. Uh, uh. And hold on, Cookie. I've been here before, haven't I? Oh, he's starting Aww. to remember. It's like this part of me that feels welcomed. You big softy. Mike always says I'm a sentimental furball. Uh -huh. Speaking of, yeah, where is he? He stayed behind to take his new jokester of the month photo. Yeah, I'll check on him. Talk to you later. Come on, Mike. Time to get to Disney Dreamlight Valley. Sully and I are waiting for you. Did you pack your rubber chicken? <laughs> oh, he needs a picture. All right, I'll take oh, your yes. picture. You jump in too, Cookie. We're a team. Say, big burp. Got it. All right. This is a great photo. All right, let's go see Disney Dreamlight Valley. He's here. Got your picture again. Smile. There we go. Oh. Ew. Good thing we can't smell in the picture. This place is great. Oh, I remember the big blue valley sky and those birds. You okay, Mike? Oh, sure. It's just allergies. Thanks for bringing us here. All right, come check out your new place. Come on, Mike, this way. Always going that way. Well, let's go check out their place. Oh, this is so perfect for them. We got Mike's side here, Sully's side on this side. This is great. They're gonna absolutely love this. Let's take pictures of their room since they love taking pictures. Got it. I'm gonna leave this on their mattress so they know that I was here. Perfect, we got two new residents at Disney Dreamlight Valley. Whew, and their laundry actually doesn't stink. Bye, cookies. <laughs>